Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. I'm Basil, and this is our highlights video from CES 2018, our favorite bits of tech announced in Las Vegas. And we are gonna start with Samsung, specifically the Samsung Wall, or The Wall. This is a TV, a huge TV that takes up, unsurprisingly, an entire wall. It is a new form of technology. It is micro LED, doesn't require a backlit panel. It shrinks down LED technology. And on top of that, thanks to the fact it doesn't use organic elements, there is no chance of burn-in. According to Samsung reps, probably the most exciting thing about it so far. That isn't all we've seen from Samsung. Samsung's also announced Bixby support for their TVs and their fridges as well. And with their smartwatches like the Gear S3, you're gonna be able to control your smart home in the future. Not to be outdone by Samsung Concept TV, LG released the rollable 65 inch TV. Oh yeah, this thing rolls up and rolls down flexible OLED panel. And I'm excited about the space saving potential for this concept. Now on to Razer, and we know them as gaming laptops and now the Razer phone and this new concept product, the Razer Linda combines the two. It effectively uses a laptop chassis with no no brains, the brains are in the phone, the phone goes in the laptop and turns the phone screen into a trackpad and then you've got a full-blown laptop experience. It looks very smart, looks very funky, something that we've seen before in various guises they've never really taken off. Hopefully the Linda will. Razer also announced a partnership with Philips Hue, specifically around all of the neon lighting wonderfulness that happens with Razer products. Unsurprising, but I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. NVIDIA also announced a beta of their new streaming service called GeForce Now. This lets you stream high resolution games, even if you don't necessarily have a high spec PC. Like I said, it is in beta now, it's a closed beta, so make sure you head over to NVIDIA's website and sign yourself up if you are interested. There wasn't much by way of phones out at CES, but Sony released three. You have the XA2, the XA2 Ultra, and the L. The XA2 is a 5.2 inch phone with a 3300 milliamp battery and a Snapdragon 6 series processor under the hood. It looks good and there's a fingerprint scanner around the back. No flagship though, we'll have to wait until Mobile World Congress until we see that. We didn't see much in the way of cameras either, but Panasonic did announce the GH5S. This new variant of the GH5 is really video focused with improved low light performance and video options. Micro Four Third sensor as well, so it's gonna support all of the lenses that the GH5 before it did. When it comes to laptops, Acer and Asus both announced Alexa support for their laptops and Dell announced the new XPS 13 with up to a 4K screen for a 13 inch laptop. That's incredibly high resolution. And of course, there was a whole load of stuff that I haven't spoken about. A one terabyte USB-C drive. You have a ton of smart car stuff as well. CES is basically now the smart car show. And AMD announced the new Ryzen 2. Oh, and my favorite, the new Sony Ibo is there in person. An AI smart dog that costs a fair bit of money, but it's so cute. If you wanna know more about anything that I have spoken about or haven't that was at CES, check out techradar.com. Thanks for watching.